Did you know that Think or Swim has a powerful scanner which allows you to scan for buy or sell opportunities of our task indicators? In this video, I'll show you how. Stay tuned. Welcome to Tech Talk. My name is Daniel from tradingindicators.com and in this video I'll show you how to use the TOS scanner to scan for buy or sell signals with our indicators. I will also show you how to create your own watch list. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date for any new videos. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and power up Thinkorswim. When you open up Thinkorswim, typically the chart window is shown. In this case, we have an Apple chart on the daily time frame. First, we're going to add one of our indicators. Let's pick the Divergence Cloud Indicator. I will add it to the chart and click OK. And after a few moments, you will see the entry and exit signals as well as the cloud of the Divergence Cloud Indicator. All right, so the green arrows are buy entries and the red arrows are sell entries. And the cloud colors show divergences. The white arrows are suggested exits. What you would like to do now is to scan for symbols which currently have either buy entries or sell entries. You will see on Think or Swim this is super easy. The first thing you want to do is to open up the document with the scan links that you have received after your purchase of the indicator. Here's an example of such a document for the power bundle. The power bundle consists of three indicators, one to three strike, divergence cloud and volatility crusher. Depending on your product, you may see only a subset of these indicators. For each indicator, we have a link for a buy scan and a link for a sell scan. I will now show you how to import these scans into Thinkorswim. We will use the buy and the sell scan for the divergence cloud, but Please note that the process for importing these scans and also for running these scans is exactly the same for each indicator. In order to import the buy scan, we right click on the scan and choose copy link location. Then we go back to Thinkorswim. In Thinkorswim, there's a tab called setup. We click on setup and go to open shared item. In there, we paste the copied link, we click preview. It will show Divergence Cloud by scan. And down here, you can choose the name which you would like to give the scan internally in your Thinkorswim installation. In this case, I'll keep it as Divergence Cloud by scan. We will click OK. This will open up a small window here, which you can now close. In order to import the cell scan, we go back to the PDF. We copy again the link location for the Divergence Cloud cell scan. Go back to Thinkorswim, set up, open shared item. We paste the URL, preview. Make sure it has the right name, Divergence Cloud cell scan, and click on import. All right, this will open up a small window, which we can now close. Now that we have imported the scans, let's run the scan. In order to open the scanner, navigate to the Scan tab at the top of the window, and then go to the right-hand side. Here you will see three bars, click on them, and go to Load Scan Query. In there, you will navigate to the scans that you've just imported. In our case, it is going to be the Divergence Cloud by Scan. I click on it, the scan is loaded, and we are ready to go. Please note that by default, the scanning time frame is the daily time frame, and the universe of stocks that we're scanning through are all the stocks available in Think or Swim, which are also optionable. You can change this by clicking on the selector and picking your own stock universe and your own criteria. You can also change the time frame by clicking on the D here. D stands for daily time frame, and then select a different time frame of your choosing. For now, we will keep the daily time frame. Let's click scan. The scan has now started, 
And depending on the number of stocks being scanned through, this may take a couple of minutes to complete. In some cases, the scan will even time out. In this case, you will need to reduce the number of stocks being scanned through to a smaller set. Once the scan completes, you will see the results in this table here. In this case, we'll see all the stocks which have a buy signal on the last candle. Let's verify this by going to the chart. Let's pick ACR as an example. We go back to the chart and we load in ACR. Once fully loaded, you can see that ACR has indeed a buy arrow on its last candle. Let's pick another symbol. Back to the scan tab and let's pick FTS for example. We go back to the chart and load in FTS. Once it's fully loaded, it will always take a couple of seconds. You can see that also FTS does have a buy arrow at its last candle. Now let's scan for cell setups. Back to the scan tab. We go back to the three bars, load scan query, divergence cloud, cell scan. Again, by default, it is the daily time frame. And we click on scan. The scan is now also complete we can see all the matches that we've gotten. Let's verify it by picking one, for example, GNRC. Back to the chart. We open up GNRC, enter. And once it's fully loaded, we can see that also GNRC will have a cell arrow at its last bar, as we can see here. Now, a couple of noteworthy items. First of all, by default, the scanner will work on the default parameters of the indicator. In order to change the parameters to scan through, go to this little pencil icon here. This will open up an editor. Click on Think Script Editor. And once opened, you will see the input parameters chosen for the scan. These are the default parameters. However, you can easily change these by editing these numbers here. Click OK and then rescan. Another important thing is the last parameter in this list, which is called the scan look back period. By default, it is set to one. This means we will only pick up stocks which had a signal at the very last bar. But sometimes we would like to go back a bit further. For example, we would like to pick up a signal if it occurred within the last five bars. We simply need to edit this parameter to five and when we rescan, we'll pick up all the results which happen at the last five bars of the chart. So far, we have looked at how to scan for buy and sell signals of the divergence cloud indicator. But as you will see, the process for scanning for buy and sell signals for all of our other indicators is exactly the same. So let's go through one more example. Back to the PDF. Let's scan for some different setups. In this case, we're looking at the one to three strike indicator and for the buy and sell scan. So the same process, we'll copy the link. Copy. We go back to toss. We go to setup, open shared item. We paste the URL, preview. We verify the name. We give it a new name to be used internally and we click on import. We close the window and we repeat the same process for the cell scan. Copy, back to toss, set up, open shared item, paste the URL, preview, verify the name and give it an internal name. And we close the little window. Now we can also scan for the one to three strike buy and sell signals. As an example, let's just go and load the buy scan. Load scan query, one to three strike buy scan, and we click on scan. The scan is now completed. Let's verify the results. In this case, let's pick AGCO. Back to the chart, 
we first will open up the one to three strike indicator and we will also remove the divergence cloud indicator. Now the indicator is applied to the chart. Let's open up the symbol AGCO. Once it's loaded, we can also see that AGCO has a buy signal on its last candle. So the scan works. Now that you know how to create your own scans, let's figure out how to create watch lists based on our scan results. As you will see, watch lists are a very convenient tool to navigate quickly between charts which currently have signals. So far, we have verified our scan results by remembering the symbols, going back to the chart, opening up the symbol on the chart and checking if we have a buy or sell signal at the last candle. But there's an easier way to do it, through watch lists. In order to add a new watch list, click on the little plus sign here, pick watch list. This will open up a new tab and now you can change the default symbols of the watch list and replace it by our own custom scan query. For example, if we want to load the results of the one to three strike by scan to the watch list, we simply click on the default box here and we pick our one to three strike by scan. After a few seconds, the watch list will populate with the result set of the one to three strike by scan. The symbols are now populated. Now let's go back to the chart. We will now symbol link the watch list with our chart. This can be done very easily. First we click on this little icon here and pick a color, let's say yellow. We then go back to the chart and next to the symbol name we pick the same color. Now the chart and the watch list are linked together. What does this mean? It means that whenever we click on a symbol in the watch list, the chart will open up this symbol automatically. For example, in this case, AGCO. Let's click on another one. Let's say AUY. Click on it and the chart will open up the symbol right away. This is a very easy way to scan through all the symbols which currently have a signal. Of course, we can also create additional watch lists. For example, in this watch list up here, we replace the criteria with our one, two, three strike cell signals. So again, I click on the criteria and we'll pick the one, two, three strike cell scan. And after a little while, also this watch list will populate. The watch list is now populated and we can do the same thing. We can click on uh, a symbol. Oh, it does not work. Why is that? Well, because the color of this watch list does not match the color of the chart. Here we have a one in red and the chart has a two in yellow. So in order to symbol link the chart with also this watch list, all we need to do is to change this number here to two yellow. Now the watch list is symbol linked with the chart. So let's test it. Let's click on CL. The chart will load CL and you can see that we have indeed a one to three strike cell signal at the last bar. This concludes this video on how to run scans and create your own watch list based on our task indicators. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our other videos on our tradingindicators.com YouTube channel.